cervix is the lower part of the uterus that connects uterus to the vagina. Cervical cancer arises from the cells of cervix. There are a lot of misconceptions which are spread about cervical cancer. So I'll try to clear some myths and let you know some facts about cervical cancer. One of the commonest myth is cervical cancer cannot be prevented. But the truth is cervical cancer is prevented. There are certain screening tests available which can diagnose the abnormal cells on the cervix and in case these abnormal cells are diagnosed and treated on time, cervical cancer can be prevented. Another myth is cervical cancer cause is unknown. But the fact we know is cervical cancer is caused mostly by human papilloma virus infection. And another misconception which people believe here is if you get HPV infection, you are definitely going to get cervical cancer. At that. But that again is not true. There are many types of HPV virus and some of them are virulent and some of them are fine. Most of the times, even if you get HPV infection, the body's immune system washes the human papilloma virus and get rid of it. But sometimes when the immunity is low, HPV infection can flare up and cause some changes in the cervical cells which you cannot see or feel. And these abnormal cells can lead to cancer development of cervix. So HPV vaccine can prevent certain types of HPV infection and can reduce the risk of cervical cancer. Another myth is, if I got my pap test done, I don't need HPV vaccine. Or if I got HPV vaccine done, I don't need to get pap smear test done or screen cervical cancer screening test done. But that again is not true. HPV virus is of many types and it the vaccine of HPV virus gives protection against only few number of viruses. So even if you got your vaccine, you should get your routine screening test done by your gynecologist. So practicing safe sex, getting your screening test on time and getting your HPV vaccination done can reduce the risk of cervical cancer.